there's certain man, right? <sighs> Guys, never do this, yeah? Never try to use your money yeah, to attract women, yeah? Do not rely on your money to attract women, yeah? There's been times, right, where I've been driving around in a car that I don't even think all that, right? And I've seen girls looking at me, but I, it, I know it was because of a fresh trim that day, in it, yeah? I know it was a fresh trim in it, yeah? But even that, you're like, I don't want no, why would I want girls looking at me because of what car I'm driving? No, girls should like me for me, yeah? Man, then, if you rely on, oh, yeah, I've got this car now, so I should be getting these girls. No, fam, no, that's not the, no. Yeah, that's, that's like guys, right? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm ripped now, so 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 that's why I should get girls. No, because you're gonna still have that sneaky personality. Yeah, bear man, that go to the club, the gym. Yeah, let me tell you something right now. You know, this ain't a shout out to no gym man. Them, I know some real true man them that go to the gym and they're not nerds or whatever. But I'm telling you, the gym thing, right? It's a substitute for a sneaky personality. Certain times, yeah? you heard me correct. The gym and big muscles is a substitute for a sneaky personality. There's bad man, yeah, yeah, walk around like, yeah, but they're just sneaks, like, they ain't got no swag, no substance to them, yeah. And I'm telling you, those guys, right, they won't get no nice girls, yeah, they won't get no nice girls, like, they might, like, oh, girls look at them, like, yeah, 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 but they, their personality is whack. Yeah, exactly. Like Brandon just said, personality is, is, is the most important thing. Now, when I say personality, it's not about um, like how nice you are to a girl, because obviously, as we know already, unfortunately, if you're a dickhead to chicks, yeah, they love you for it, yeah. But when I say personality, I mean like swag and just charisma and stuff like that. Yeah, that is what holds the women. That is what keeps women attracted to guys. Yeah, for a long time, all of that money and you know, like what particular clothes they wear. That, that's all bullshit. Even status as well. Even status. The two have to be mute. The, the two have to be. Um, I was going to say mutually exclusive, but that means that they don't occur at the same time. But the two have to complement each other. Yeah. You can have high status, but if you're a neek, like a nerd, yeah, you ain't gonna eat. Yeah. Girls aren't even going to be attracted to you because they already know you. Yeah. So like, oh yeah, he's a neek. I ain't want to deal with him. Yeah, now I ain't gonna think no one's name in the UK. Yeah, Carl, I know there's certain man in the UK. Yeah, Black Brothers. Yeah, they got status. Everyone knows them, but they're nerds. Yeah, they can't get nice girls because they're nerds or whatever. Yeah, but there's certain people like and man them admit like this person's admitted it them so so. I can I can say this. Um, like Chris Rock. Yeah, everyone knows who Chris Rock is. Yeah, Chris Rock's a good comedian. But apparently he said, I just don't know why, I just don't bring out that sexual tension, that sexual energy out of women. Yeah, because he's sneaky. Yeah, it's not solely because he's a comedian or whatever. And it can't. I'm sure there's comedians out there who just, Eddie Murphy, fuck, yeah? Do you see Eddie Murphy's ex-women, yeah? Forget about Mel B, yeah? Mel B's nice, yeah, she's all right. But he had one next thing. I can't fucking, I don't even remember her name. I think it's her name's Kelly or something like that, right? Uh, I don't know, she's like 50 or something, yeah? You see how people used to talk about Jennifer Lopez, like, yeah, at 50, she was on point. This woman, Kelly, I think her name's Kelly Murphy, right? She has short hair or something like that, yeah? She was on point, yeah? So even if you're a comedian or whatever, yeah, it's not so neat because you can still get certain girls, but you need to have that, that charisma. Like, I know Eddie Murphy, yeah? Like, no one needs to tell me, I know Eddie Murphy can chop down girls because of his... His his uh his charisma whatever it is, but you need to have both. Yeah, you can't you can't just rely on status yeah? because there's a lot of guys out here that have status but they don't have that swag. So it's all about having swag, man. But yeah, for me, the most important thing is the swag, the charisma, man. Yeah? The swag and the charisma. Yeah? That is that is what separates you. You you could have guys. You can have six guys. Yeah, as long as all of them are like good looking enough for the woman to consider going out on a date with, the guy that has the most charisma, right? If, if she actually, if she went out on a date with five guys, right? And all of them to her were a minimum of seven out of 10. Some of them were more and some of them had more money, yeah? I guarantee you, all the ones that were, out of all the ones that she went out on a date with, right? The one that had the most swag, the most, the most charisma and stuff like that, he'll be the one that gets the girl. Yeah? Like, my, me and my mum was watching this program called, um, 
dinner date. And it's either a girl goes and goes on three different dates because she chooses three menus, or a guy chooses three menus from three different women, or whatever. So it's kind of like blind dates. And there was this white girl on it. She was the right looking, especially for that show, wasn't it? Yeah. She's gone out on these dates now, and the number one thing she was talking about is I need a guy to be confident, confident, right? And when I'm watching her go out and he said, hey, you know me, I like to analyze body language and the human behavior, everything. So when I'm watching them out on the date, I'm looking at the interaction between them, right? And I'm looking to see if the guy is displaying any confidence or whatever in it. You're like, just, just his old mannerisms and that. And I think, yeah, he ain't going to get the date, man. He ain't going to get the date. And yeah, even the guy, even one of the guys that my mum said was better looking, he didn't even get the date because she said she didn't feel like um, he was a, uh, that confident. Now she picked a guy that I was like, no way is he gonna get the date, man. But he is only because he displayed more confidence than the other guys. But anyway, they went out on the second date and she didn't go back out on another date with him because he was acting like an idiot, like I ain't gonna do it. But man's all licking his lips and doing some, you know, like that kind of like creepy, stupid behavior that man them do in films and now he was doing that in real life on a fucking TV program. Not in the fucking TV show, you know, real life, you know. So, yeah, they never went out on a date again. And she told him on the date, yeah, you're cringing me out, yeah. When you hear that, yeah, whatever you're doing needs to stop right then and there, yeah. You're doing something to lower this girl's attraction. So, yeah, he didn't even end up getting the second date. She only went out on the third date. Oh, sorry, she only went out on the second date because she had to pick one, yeah. I knew after that, right, she wasn't going to go back out on another. And she only picked him because he had more confidence than the other guys. Yeah? But when he when she went out on a date with him, he was acting like a fucking idiot. Acting like a fucking idiot. Yeah. You see that idiotic behavior. Yeah. All that, yeah, that foolishness. But I've done it before, I I'm a human being, it? yeah. At the time I didn't know, but now I know. That idiotic behavior, yeah, but that kills women's attraction. Telling you, telling you. I sent Nadia a video of some guys from London just acting like complete jackasses, black youths, you know? Like, I won't say they manned them like that, but they, yeah, they grew up in London, yeah? They, they're from the urban community acting like fucking jackasses. And I said to her, what if I start acting like that? She's like, please don't, yeah? I wouldn't like if you, if you started acting like that. That stupid behaviour, yeah? I know it's fun to act a bit silly now and then, yeah? But guys, that has to stop, man. If you're a guy, right, if you know you act a bit silly, yeah? It, you see all that silly behaviour? That has to stop in general, yeah? Because if you don't, if you do that when you're with your man then, but you don't do that with a girl, it, it, you will slip and you end up doing stupid stuff with the girl because you're used to doing it with your man then, so you won't be able to control it. That silly behaviour, you need to cut that out completely it don't mean you have to walk around like you're in a fucking army yeah but just try and i don't even want to say mature or whatever because yeah? maturity has got nothing to do with age as well but i don't even want to say be more masculine but that that silly stupid behavior right needs to stop yeah and which brings me to another another topic i'm going to talk about in a sec about about feminine men yeah so you guys uh, press one if you've seen that film. Um, um, that film. One day, hopefully, I will be making films. One day. Yeah. Press one if you've seen that video that I made about why women don't let some men see their their children or something like that. Press one if you've seen that film. Film again. Yeah. The reason why I keep saying film is I'm having a premonition, like you know, a vision of what's going to happen in the future. So yeah. Press one if you've seen that film. Yeah. Why women don't let some men see their children. 